Hello, thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. In today's video, I want to talk about how to build a 3D model of objects in MATLAB using SFM. And for that, we're gonna use uncalibrated cameras. There are so many algorithms that you could use to build a 3D model of objects, but in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to use SFM in MATLAB to do that. Let's get started and see how we can do that. As I said in this video, I want to talk about how to build 3D models of objects in MATLAB using uncalibrated cameras using SFM. There are so many ways to build a 3D model of objects. One of the best ways to do so is to use Structure from Motion or SFM. Structure from Motion is the process of estimating the 3D structure of a scene from a set of two-dimensional views. SFM is used in many applications such as 3D scanning, augmented reality, and visual simultaneous localization and mapping. Finding structure from motion presents a similar problem to finding structure from stereo vision. In both instances, the correspondence between images and the reconstruction of 3D object needs to be found. To find correspondence between images, features such as corner points are tracked from one image to the next. One of the most widely used feature detectors is the Speed Up Robust Features, or SERF. The features detected from all the images will then be matched. One of the matching algorithms that track features from one image to another is the Locus Canet Tracker. Ransack is also the algorithm that is usually used to remove the outlier correspondences. The feature trajectories over time are then used to reconstruct their 3D positions and the camera's motion. In this video, I'm using MATLAB to build a 3D model of the following object. These images are taken at a few different angles. The set of multiple views used for SFM can be ordered or unordered. The approach taken in MATLAB assumes an ordered sequence of views. SFM from multiple views requires point correspondence across multiple images, called tracks. A typical approach is to compute the tracks from pairwise point correspondences. Each track corresponds to a 3D point in the scene. To compute 3D points from the track, some kind of triangulation is performed. Using the approach in SFM, you can find the pose of camera 2 relative to camera 1, camera 3 relative to camera 2, and so on. To find the pose of the cameras relative to the prior camera, you must compute the fundamental metrics for which the corresponding points are used. The relative poses must be transformed into a common coordinate system. Typically, all camera poses are computed relative to camera 1 so that all poses are in the same coordinate system. To do the SFM in MATLAB, you need to have the camera parameters available, such as camera intrinsic matrix, focal length, radial distortion, and so on. If you have these parameters of your camera, you are set and you can use the script that is available in MATLAB. But what if you didn't have these parameters? As mentioned, MATLAB has a script with a specific camera that already has all the parameters you need. But how can you use that script and the camera parameters for your problem with your specific camera, which is not calibrated, meaning you don't know the parameters of your camera? You can actually use the same script as the one that is available in MATLAB. All you have to do is to first resize your images so that it gets as close as possible to the original image size that this script has been written for. You have to make sure to keep the aspect ratio of your image, which is going to impact the quality of the 3D model as well. Let me show you what I mean. The camera that MATLAB uses has the image size of 720 by 1280, but my image has the size of 4032 by 3024. All I have to do is to first resize my image so that it gets as close as possible to 720 by 1280 while the aspect ratio is maintained. I realized resizing my images by a factor of 1 over 4 would make the size 1008 by 756 which is as close as possible to the desired values which is 720 by 1280. Then all you have to do is to change the size of the images that MATLAB is using to your new image size. Let's go to MATLAB and show you guys what I mean. Okay, here's the script that is already available in MATLAB. First, you just have to specify where the images are located, and then you just read them. Here, I am resizing my images by a factor of 1 over 4, as I said. 
to make it as close as possible to the size of the images that MATLAB is using. So the new size of my images is this one, 1008 756. So I have to make sure to change that in the camera parameters. So everything is the same as the script that is already available in MATLAB, but you just have to change the size. And then here you get the camera intrinsic parameters, and from here on you start to detect and extract the features and making the tracks. We start with the first image, and we also use the camera intrinsics to undistort the images. And then we go to this loop to build the tracks. And then using those tracks, we start the triangulation process, and then from that we get the XYZ points. So first we specify where the cameras are, and this is the displaying camera poses. These are some of the things from the original script that I have commented out. And now we're going to start the densification process. In other words, we start to make the densified 3D model. Again, the same thing. We build the tracks. We build the XYZ points. This is where the densified 3D model is built. You could find the exact same script in MATLAB, but here I just show you how you could change that to your own specific needs. The most important thing is the image size. You have to change the size so that it would get as close as possible to the original images that are being used by MATLAB. Let's run this and see what happens. These are the images that are being used. And you could see that this is the 3D model. And these are the camera poses. This is where the camera was located with respect to the object but I want to just see this 3D model. You can see that this is the beard, this is the hat, this is the body of the sculpture, and this is the thing that he's carrying. So very well done. When you go to the MATLAB website, you would see that this script has been performed on a sphere, but I performed it on my own object, but you have to make some changes to be able to use that script. And as I said, the image size is the only change you need to make to be able to use the same script for your problem. And that's about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and you were able to get something out of it. If you liked it, I would appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and also share the video with your friends. Thank you so much and have a nice day.